Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake, 83 kilometers southwest of San Antonio, Chile. This is not far from one of the most uh, largest earthquakes they've had in modern history. Using Google Earth, here's the location near the top of the screen of today's 5.1. Down here, is the 9.5 earthquake they had in 1960. There's been different controversy about was it on shore or was it offshore. Um, but two days after the 9.5 earthquake in 1960, they had a volcano erupt um, that many scientists feel was caused by this uh, large earthquake that they had then. So we'll come up here to where this earthquake occurred. Earthquakes offshore are hard to triangulate. They need three different monitors uh, to actually locate where the earthquake occurred. And they don't have monitors out in the ocean. So they take the measurements uh, from what they can gather offshore. So yeah. Um, they said it was 10 kilometers in depth, which means they really don't know. And 11 people reported feeling this earthquake. It looks like Villa, Alam Anna, up north, and then by uh, Santiago. Oh, we got here, we got one there, one there, two there. Um, Vina, I don't know, Vina or Vina, um, Del Mar. And oh, we got five responses from that location. And one from there. Um, Santigo one. Santigo one. And another one. This earthquake occurred along the Peru, Chile, Atacama Trench. You can see the line here. And it follows all the way along South America. Can you see that darker line? This is part of the Nazca plate, which is subsiding underneath of South America. I'm going to bring that in so you can see the direction. And then down south, let me pull this out, we have the Antarctic plate, which it borders. And then also over here, we have the uh, um, South American uh, Magnetic Anomaly. It's actually broken up into two sections. And I've talked about this area down here where um, it's spreading and been moving. Yeah, I've been tracking the earthquakes that happened last year. Like there was a 6.1 and a 6.6. .6. They've done a pretty darn good job of rebuilding after the magnitude 9.5 earthquake, like I said, occurred in 1960. That happened on May 22nd. And the damage and loss in life, yeah, there was even a tsunami. And some studies have proposed that um, there may have been a magnitude 9.4 or a 9.6. And then prior to that, there was a series of foreshocks uh, one of them being a magnitude 8.1. In some areas, 95% of all the buildings were destroyed uh, from this earthquake. On the felt report, someone posted the intensity of 3 in San Antonio. Uh, another one said it was uh, strong. Um, another one, uh, seismology indicated it was a 5.0. Uh, 36 kilometers um, from where this earthquake occurred. Actually, here it says 143 kilometers. Now that would be 88 miles from where the earthquake um, occurred. Another report, 157 kilometers from where the earthquake occurred. So that would be 97, almost 98 miles, said they had light movement. Um, another one. Uh, light movement in Santiago, light, that one's 186 kilometers. Um, and the other one translated says some noise, 
but the usual thing in Chilito. Yeah, Chile does get a lot of earthquakes. Now, the NASDAQ plate is part of the original Farlon plate, um, yeah, which has been drifting many places around the world. Yeah, we got the uh, Juan de Fuca fault line and the hot spot of Yellowstone where part of the Farlon plate has uh, diverged under. Um, but anyways, the NASDAQ part, uh, plate, excuse me, um, that convergence started about 140 million years ago. At least that's what the scientists feel. So that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Did you feel this earthquake? Did you have family that felt it? Um, hopefully, hopefully it's not a foreshock for something much larger to come. Um, any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Uh, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.